Hello and welcome to the tutorial on my spin of a DIY propane torch which can be used in any metal melting foundry to melt aluminum, copper, or brass. Alright, let's get right into it. First I'm going to start from here and go basically all the way up to here in the parts. And most of these parts can be found at Home Depot or bought off Amazon if there is not a Home Depot near you. But first, uh, I don't think you can really find this other places, but it is a 20 PSI propane regulator that feeds right into a 3 8 to 1 4th. And the 3 8 to 1 4th uh, just screws in there. Make sure you get a uh, thread lock. Uh, actually, uh, gas rated uh, thread tape to make sure that gets in there and the propane comes out. And then... Uh, Basically 3 eighths to 1 fourth, and then I have a 1 fourth uh, ball valve right here. And then the ball valve goes to a 1 fourth uh, nipple right into uh, this contraption of reducer couplings, which is a, uh, what is it, a 1 fourth to 1 half, and then 1 half to 1 and 1 fourth. And basically from there, the the brass, these are all brass pipes, I found them all at, uh, what was it, Home Depot, and basically that just fits right in there, and then it comes out the other end. Uh, they're, it's not threaded all the way through, so what you just have to do is just put some tape on it, and then, well, some of this thread tape, and then kind of just hammer it in there, make sure it's in there. And then basically from there I have a one-fourth pipe sticking out right here till about right here so from here to here inside here is a one-fourth uh, brass nipple and then from there I have another brass reducer coupling that is one-fourth to one-eighth this is a one-eighth pipe I think it's about four inch a four inch uh, one-eighth uh, brass pipe and then a one-eighth uh, one brass cap And then a 0.35 MIG nozzle tip by Lincoln. This right here, uh, the cap, it actually does not come with a hole right here for the MIG nozzle. So what you have to do is either like drill it out with a drill press or kind of try to be precise. I wasn't very precise. It's actually not even straight. <laughs> but basically drill a hole in there and then you're going to have to tap it to whatever thread this was. I think it was like an M6 by one tap. And then once that taps in, the, like you screw it in and stuff, you should see a, the nozzle like this. And then, yeah, it just screws in, put some tape on that, and then, yeah, that's the inside. Now we can move on to the outside. Uh, the outside just can, consists of a one and one fourth uh, T pipe. Uh, everything in here is actually, try to get everything black steel. Galvani galvanized steel will uh, shed this little coat of lead on the outside or whatever it's made out of and it'll, it's, it's quite toxic actually. So basically what you're going to want to do is grab the 1 and 1 4th T coupling, screw it onto the 1 and 4th, 1 and 1 4th reducer coupling. I'll just see if I can get it on there. Alright, so now it's just like that. Then I grab, this is actually a, yeah, size really doesn't matter for this one, um, usually. <laughs> but uh, it's eight. This uh, black iron pipe is 18 inches long. It's uh, just like one inch, and actually no, it's yeah, it's just one inch because I have another reducer coupling right here that is one and one fourth to one. This is a uh, this is just uh, I don't even know what they call it, but it's just threaded all the way through so you can get the one and one fourth all the way down to this reducer coupling, and then this just screws into here like that. I'm not going to screw it in all the way right now, but you can see how the nozzle sticks out right at the end, right where the pipe comes in, and then just screw this in. Yeah, I'm just not going to screw it in all the way now, but that's basically the full design of it. Um, basically, how I regulate airflow in this thing is it's nothing real advanced. I honestly just use something to cover up the hole. I'm trying to look for something. Um, just use, I don't know, anything like this, anything, and then basically how I adjust it is I just have like something like propped up right here, and I just slide it on and off like that to adjust how much air and flow is getting on here. Uh, 
At the moment, it's not forced air. I have plans to make this a forced air propane burner. So I'm going to grab like some sort of system to pump air in there so you can just get the flame out there. Because right now, I can barely run this thing at 10 PSI without uh, putting too much fuel into the flame. And that way, just none of the propane burns correctly. But this has worked great for me. Absolutely great. It's melted aluminum cans in seconds. It heats up a pretty big foundry. This is this is not for uh, just like a small one, little one, but you you can use it for something like a little bucket foundry, like you see on like Grant Thompson's or something like that. Um, that's basically the end of the tutorial. Uh, if there are any questions, put them down in the comments. Please slap a like on this video and uh, have a good day.